remember the funny experiences more than the really scary ones. I mean, the, 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 when the shell blew up outside my window, I, I, will, I will never forget that. But the thing I remember most about that is um, after it blew up, I came downstairs completely white. And um, my, my colleagues, one of my colleagues, a German guy, was cooking up some pasta. And um, he looked at me, you know, and, and, he, and without kind of saying, oh my god, are you okay? He looked at me, oh good, just in time for some pasta. I mean, completely <laughs> deadpan, which I found was, you know, very, so kind of the right way to deal with it, although I was like, shaking, but I actually did have a good plate of pasta. Um, uh, I was in a situation once where a shell went off and I had a flak jacket on and the guy next to me didn't and he died. Um, uh, and I was in a situation in Sarajevo where people were shot in, uh, in, in front of the presidency, the, the presidential palace, and we were in a car and we got them in our car and pulled them up and took them to the hospital. Um, and those are kind of moments that, that in this situation where the guy literally he was hit in the chest with shrapnel and I wasn't, it's, you know, you're both blown back and he's gone and you're not. And it's just kind of like, you know, what do you do? Um, so it's, it, it's, it's harsh, but it's, it's kind of, you're in it. And partially, I mean, there's, there's a book by Chris Hedges about kind of man and war and why we like doing this kind of stuff. And there is a bizarre attraction that pushing yourself to the limit has, you know, extreme sports, et cetera. It's the same type of impulse in a way. At the same time, you think you're doing something important because you're trying to, quote, unquote, tell the world what you're seeing.